If we look at the numbers, the answer is no. The number of people with health insurance has gone down since Trump took office. There's also the question of Medicaid, which ensures low-income people. The administration has put forth work requirements in a number of states, the idea being that people have to verify they're employed to get coverage. And these are really controversial, they're litigated, but the research and experts do suggest that when you have work requirements in programs like these, the number of people with coverage goes down, not up. The administration has loosened regulations around other forms of insurance. There's association health plans and short-term limited duration plans, and they say this offers a more affordable alternative for consumers who can't afford ACA plans. Critics point out that these plans are held to far less stringent standards. They're generally known as skinny plans. President Trump has been campaigning on the idea that healthcare costs have gone down. But if you look closely, that's not really true. The cost of healthcare itself keeps going up, and experts say that's largely because we haven't tackled the main issue, which is how much hospitals and doctors and health systems charge. They've put out some policies that would ostensibly address that, notably their price transparency rules. but. Those haven't taken effect, and experts worry that they're pretty toothless anyway. The other piece of the puzzle is premiums in the individual marketplace for the ACA. The numbers, if you look just at 2019 and 2020, could support their argument, because we see a slowdown in premium growth and, in some cases, decline. The problem is, those come on the heels of a 2018 plan year, in which premiums really dramatically went up. The president would really like to take credit for the pre-existing condition protection. But in fact, the requirement that health plans can't discriminate against you for your medical history comes from the Affordable Care Act. It well predates his administration. A group of Republican attorneys general are arguing that the law should be overturned. And the administration is siding with those states. The president also campaigned in 2016 on the idea of repealing the ACA. He's tried several times to have the law overturned, and while those haven't been successful, he continues to talk about it as a priority. The president also says that drug prices have come down during his administration. But when you look at the big picture, the evidence doesn't really support that. And we've seen the prices of many individual drugs go up. He also talks about a record number of generic drug approvals. And it is true that the administration has overseen many more generic drugs at least getting approved. The problem is many of them are not for sale in the United States, which means they haven't actually brought prices down for consumers. The president has put forward policies that would make it easier for people to receive kidney donations, which advocates across the political spectrum say would be very beneficial. His administration has also committed significant resources to addressing the ongoing opioid epidemic. Things are more or less continuing as they were before he took office. The ACA is still the law of the land, and trends of cost and affordability are progressing as they were before he assumed the presidency.